cold, get some very cold spells, and snow. Now, we do have much fuller details, of course, but there are some people in the audience who pay for these fuller details already, so you know, I've got to sort of stop somewhere. Um, Please. Yeah. There so, will be 10 weather periods, there are 10 weather periods in this month typically, and there's details of when these cold spells will occur. So, for the BBC's purposes, we're not just giving a vague forecast, it's going to be cold with very cold spells, we also <coughs> do know when people are told who want to know when those will be. And I'll be happy to send the BBC the full forecast, and they can stick it in a box in advance of the winter and open it after the winter or open it page by page as the winter goes on. So if you're agreeing with that, I'm sure. But I, I know um, this was an idea. And I'd be happy for the Met Office to put something else in the box as well. <laughs> <laughs> Other than there will be some ways. It can be hard. No one actually realises the Met Office with the forecast is for mild it is. It is. Oh, it is. Average or above average? Yep. Yeah, well, let's put that in the box now before they change their minds. <laughs> okay, well, the last, last slide is the next one. The future of forecasting. You see, I think what we're doing is a paradigm shift and leading to new disciplines. It means the end of standard neutrality. But not the full end, because standard neutrality is still very good, don't get me wrong, at doing a day with head. It's just they shouldn't pretend they can do things they can't. It devalues them. Okay, what we think is that application of a solar weather technique will be able, and does, it does generate extreme events around the world with relative ease 12 months ahead. More data, more work, more people helping, more investment, we can do more. We could do full weather forecast too, like the detail of the British Isles, of every part of every month, which is what farmers want. To anywhere in the world, but with more work. Now, is there also another interesting idea? Quick. Quick. We could modify the computer codes of the numerical weather prediction so that when they got a choice of is it going to go this way, that way, that way, we can say it's going to go that way and only that way and say, well, that will be the weather in 10 days' time, because they've got options for the weather in 10 days' time, you can tell which one it's going to be. And furthermore, will it be more intense or less intense than the one they think, because we'll know if it's going to be a swift hit. And that could make TV weather forecasts 10 days ahead with the same accuracy as now, but only 12 hours ahead. When Thomas Schaffernacker says tomorrow's going to be like this, he could say tomorrow, the next day, 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 until I can could do that with this work. It's all possible, it requires changes in thinking, sales, investment, and a bit of imagination. And all our supporters and you know, investors and people that fly across are sincerely thanked. And I ask you to come along to the next event sometime next year when we say a lot more. Thank you very much.